Good morning. Good morning, everybody, and my beautiful peoples of YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright guys, good morning. Um, it is uh, June 19th. Let's get ready to say April, excuse me. Let's get ready to say April again. <laughs> um, so I got in here to uh, the hostel beside uh, Pine Grove Furnace yesterday. And uh, uh, it's called Iron Masters or something like that. And uh, it's a really cool place to stay. Um, cool thing about it, it's a national historical site. Um, which makes it really, really cool. Um, they had a wedding here yesterday, which was so cool. I mean, we're a bunch of hikers. You should see us sitting at the window just watching the the, the wedding. We're like HGTV up in here. Um, <laughs> so cool. And uh, it's a, a really cool place. But I'm going to show you guys what the thing I that really made me want to stop here. Um, I'm listening to a book about uh, the Underground Railroad, and um, I seen in one of the far out comments that to that there is a room. They said, "Ask about it. Ask about it." And so, um, so I asked about it, and there is a hidden space here where they would hide enslaved people. For the Underground Railroad, and let me see if I can show it to you, so you guys can see it. Check it out. And they would crawl down in there and hide. And it's just in like a little under the stairs. It's where Harry Potter would have lived. <laughs> so that is like really, really cool. Um, and it um, has a little bunk room. Really cool. It's on the National Register of Historical Sites. So, um, that was really cool. And I've taken my time getting out of here today. Ate some breakfast. Um, um, just taking my time. So that way I get my feet plenty of rest. Um, it's kind of like taking a, a zero, but not really, because <laughs> I did hike four miles yesterday. But I got here at nine, about 9.30, and it's about it's 9.38. I actually got here 24 hours ago. So it's giving my feet 24 hours off. Um, just walking on the right foot, just putting weight my weight on it. It's sore. So I um, only got two days of food. Tried to cut that down. There's a place I can eat in eight miles, maybe. Uh, probably stop there and get a sandwich. Got me a sandwich to pack out, so I don't have that much food. And uh, so my pack shouldn't be too heavy today. So uh, see how far I get. Bowling Springs is in 19 miles, and there's a VA. I'm not sure, but I know there is a. Um, what do you call it? Urgent care in Carlisle. So I may, um, I think I want to go in and get an x ray done on it. I don't want to do any damage to it. And I know you guys are like, well, why are you hiking to there? Um, because I know I can get off between here and there if I need to. But, uh, or, but we're going to play it by ear and just see how it does after some rest. It didn't hurt a lot yesterday. Um, kind of felt the same way it does now yesterday morning, but it didn't hurt while I was hiking, so, we'll see. Alright, so, let's go get this miles done. Alright, guys. I am headed out. <sighs> My belly is full. I ate some mac and cheese and collard greens. Potato salad for breakfast. <laughs> it was the leftovers from the wedding. It's a little park out here. It's a state park. Uh, got some 
stuff going on over there. Oh, I just saw the Missy, the lady who runs the hostel. She said they lease everything from the state of Pennsylvania because they're in the state. This is a state park. So it's a nice little spot to come to. You can come camping here. You got the AT Museum. You got the Pine Grove Furnace uh, it's a general store where they, you know they make food and stuff in there. And, and you know it's a cool thing. You know you get to see three hikers come through and and eat their half gallon of ice cream. Oh, would you guys attend to something? <laughs> you want to smell something that's stinky? Stay in a hostel with a bunch of three hikers and they all just ate a half a gallon of ice cream. <laughs> Ooh, there were a couple of times I walked past bathrooms and it was, oh Lord. So, uh, it was good. It was fun. I was very proud of myself. I was very social. Talked with some hikers. I, just kind of enjoyed, enjoyed being around uh, hikers and that sort of thing. So that was really nice. Look y'all, check this out. Hey look, <laughs> see this right here? <laughs> Let me take a picture of this. My wife said I should do a meme. What people think the Appalachian Trail was like. <laughs> and then what the Appalachian Trail was really like. <laughs> I hope I got that picture. I can't tell with these gloves on. You know, everybody, everybody thinks that this right here is what the trail looks like. <laughs> they come to the state park. They see this sign. It says Appalachian Trail. I mean, it's walking past the, it's on the little pavement. They think, oh man, I could do this. They look it up and they say, oh, it's 2,200 miles. And people do it. And this is what they've seen. <laughs> this right here people people walk this little path and they tell, go home and tell people oh yeah I walked on the Appalachian Trail I went on a hike on the Appalachian Trail today <laughs> oh. yeah this is what people think the trail looks like yeah this is not what the trail looks like <laughs> Now I know why this little section is just flat in the book. Like you look at it in the book and it's just flat. <laughs> it's like, oh, they did say Pennsylvania was flat. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> we take a picture of a rock scramble. <laughs> and I'm going to make a meme. I wish the trail was like this every day. Or at least some of my day, anyway. I mean, like two miles of this every day. <laughs> All right. My toe's already hurting. Yeah, right, too. Of course, I'm sure this pavement doesn't help with that. And I didn't take any. The other day I took some Advil. Or yesterday I took some Advil. Before I left camp that morning, and uh, so I had uh, so it didn't hurt yesterday morning. I got a couple Advil. They didn't have any ibuprofen or any kind of anything at the the little store. So I got 19 miles to Boiling Springs. And, uh, 
and like 27 miles to Carlisle. But I got like seven, eight miles to this little general store. And I'm hoping there they have some type of Avenue or uh, Tylenol or something. But I really wanted to see how it felt without anything. So I need to see how it feels. My pack's not heavy. I mean, and I got the, like the amount of water that I would typically carry. And I'm checking my resupply and threw out the stuff that, okay, clearly I'm not going to eat it, stop carrying it, that sort of thing. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. Alright, I'm going to get back to you guys. See, I was like, like 6.30 or something like that. My feet are killing me. And, uh, um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> not crying today, that's a good thing. <sighs> yeah, it hurting. But I want to show y'all this, right? Because I'm laughing. Because... I mean, I, I almost got lost back there. I mean, I started going the wrong way. And I was like, okay, something don't look right. So, you know, I'm going through these little stations and, you know, they told you that Pennsylvania is rocky, right? So, it's just rocks, you know, I'm going through these little rocks and this and that. And at the back there, there was an arrow. And I started grinning. I said, well, clearly, you know, I'm not the only one who probably would have got lost there. So I come up here again. <laughs> Look. There's another arrow. I don't know if people was like going this way. Or if he was going that way. Look, let's see what we gotta get through. That looks sketchy, don't it? Like. Wonder what could be on the other side. It was like all of a sudden the bear just said, <laughs> <sighs> Oh. So I was looking at the, uh, the comments about this uh, this shelter that's ahead of me that I don't think I'm going to be able to get to. Uh, and, uh, anyway, there's somebody, so somebody must leave in the neighborhood near this trail. And they said, they put on the comments, that, said a bear has been seen in, oh, oh, I want to, every time I try to lift up with my, Look, you see little arrows. Look, there's an arrow there. And then there's one down there. <laughs> anyway. So it said there's a bear been seen in the neighborhood. And that. Um, look, they have to put one right there too. So that. Clearly it's not the Nobo thing. Sobos. If you're having a problem too. Well, that's how I have to get down. You know, I'm sure some people just could probably just jump down through there. You know, these young 
kid. Not I, said Carissa. Oh, but uh, anyway, said the bear. Said the bear was seen in the neighborhood, like east of the trail, and that um, you know the bear was not had don't like the bear hasn't been seen at the shelter, but you know it was seen going leaving the neighborhood and going in this direction. <laughs> so I guess the, the bear was in their neighborhood and left their neighborhood and was headed towards the trail. And it said in there, protect yourselves and, and your food. Now protect your food and yourselves. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that just tickles me, y'all. I'm trying to show y'all how I'm getting down. Oh, see, I hit, I hit the button. Hit the button. Try to get down like this here. You know, let's see what our mess is that. My, uh, whew. My. <clears throat> my. The balls of my feet hurt. I don't even know if y'all seen that. So I put my foot right there and then down there. But, oh, it's the balls of my feet hurt. But anyway, and now look, let's see, that's weird. And then it says they go to the right. And why would you go to the right? When you can just go here. Right. I guess, I guess, um, I guess they don't want you going around that way. I want you to go. See. See, Miss Ashley, that is how you, uh, y'all should mark Georgia. <laughs> That's how y'all should mark up Georgia. The way these folks down here in Pennsylvania did. There's a woman running through here. She was trail running earlier. And now I've just come through, through that, and I'm like, man, how in the world did she trail run across that? I love seeing her bounce across that. But anyway, so yeah, honey, these people, the, the people in the neighborhoods be looking out for us. Honey, the bears. The bears have scared the, somebody in the neighborhood. She's just one and said, hey, protect your food and yourselves. And the bears, they're going to get you. Oh. So that's why I'm thinking about a bear. Because that person told me to protect myself and my food. Uh, I hope the bear don't want my Rice Krispie treat. Uh, I stopped at that general store. And I got me a, a salad. And a... Uh, some chicken wings. Man, that was good. Mm. <coughs> and that was about eight miles. My feet felt good. And then, I mean, they were sore. They were, you know, they weren't perfect, but they weren't hurting. And so I got about Two miles from there, get about that 10, between 10 and 11, and it just, and I had already, I got some ibuprofen from that little general store, and I, uh, I 
Okay, he just, he just started hurting. But I just slowed down. And uh, I'm just taking my time. Um, there's water at the end there, at the bottom of this hill. And we're going down. And then, that was in two miles then. And in 2.8 miles, it's a campground. So I could get some water. Um, and, uh, and then go to that campground. That campsite, I'm not saying not a campground. Um, oh. <clears throat> I've twisted my ankle like oh, so many times a day. So I'm just trying to be careful with that. Man, that motorcycle, whatever that was, it might sound like somebody playing a saxophone or something. Oh. Alright. Get off of here. You know what I, I feel like I crossed over the 1100 mile mark today. I'm pretty sure I did. I didn't celebrate it. I didn't do anything. Um, I didn't see anything on the ground. I guess I can. <sighs> but I celebrated with that good old salad. And that salad was good. And I was going to tell them people to give me extra eggs. I didn't even eat two. There was four eggs on it. It was like, well, I guess it was, maybe it was two eggs. It was two whole eggs, because it was put up in quarters. And it was good. I was impressed with that salad. So, y'all, y'all stopping through there, man. You get that salad at that Green Mountain General Store. The Honey Hot Wings, breaded Wings, and a Cobb Salad. What? With a cream soda? Yeah, that that was good. Um, it's a lot, man. It's just a lot more expensive up here. But you know, so it's more expensive everywhere these days. So, all right, and I am just trying to get as far as I can today. I'm going to go to the VA and get some x-rays on my feet. The horse. Just, I mean, I don't know why. They're just hurting like they are. After about 10 miles. It's about the same amount of time. Every day if I hit about 10 miles, they just start to just... And it's like my middle toe goes numb. I don't know what it is. So, uh, and it's swollen all the way through, through to the top on that right foot. All right, so, gosh, we have to just run down these. can't, you know, I don't want to pound my, I don't want to pound my feet, and then they, of course, if I do pound it, it, it hurts, and then there's a section coming into Duncan, where, I was reading, listening, or reading, 
to read Tanya's comments and far out. And she says, you know, it's it's hard. Those are some, you know, some huge steps, huge rocks. So like for me, I'm gonna have to be hopping down on those rocks. I'm gonna just, it's just gonna be a hop down, constant hop down. Um, and so I already heard about them from somebody else. So you know, I don't wanna be just jumping down on my feet and putting that pressure on my feet. Um, definitely not taking more than two days worth of food. Like I wouldn't get anything at that, at that store. I got me two rice crispy treats. And uh, for breakfast. So, but I didn't. I didn't get anything. I got some resupply pack of tuna and you know, like a, a kind bar, some peanuts, that sort of thing. So that way I can get myself into uh, Coralie, I think it is. If I can, um, oh, I gotta figure out when I get closer. If that, that there's a clinic, I think, in Carly. But I don't know if it's a hospital. But I know there's a urgent care. So I don't know if I can just go to urgent care. Um, if I need to go to the hospital itself. Either one of them. Either one of them doesn't bother me. See, I mean, these rocks here, they're not that bad. They shouldn't hurt my feet. No, what I went through, I went through some little bad sections earlier, but that was before I got to the store. Alright, I'm gonna talk I'm gonna talk to y'all for 12 minutes. I won't talk to y'all anymore today. So thank y'all for watching. Oh. Oh. I see you at it today. People who told me from the beginning I should do this. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, man. You know, there's the same people who have watched me go for a hike with a, with a cast on. Go do stuff for the cast. Oh. So... You know I can deal with some pain, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I can deal with pain. I just don't wanna do like forever permanent damage. You know. I have a lot of hikes to, to go on, and I have a lot of different hikes and trails to go on. And I don't need, you know, through hiking to be nice. But I'm not gonna permanently injure myself. Just so I can say I did a through hike. I mean, I get that I may have limitations, but I'm not gonna cause permanent injury. And I know that with my ankle, I worry about that one too. I mean, I'm rolling it. I mean. I rolled it twice yesterday, with no protection on it. 
just by stepping on a you know where the floor was just went from like you know one room to the next just it's crazy so I rolled it like I said about three times today but I'm going slow I'm trying to deliber deliberately just stick take my steps So that I don't twist my ankle and that causes me to put my weight on the right side. I can't. And I have to go twist that ankle and I instantly throw all my weight and everything on that right foot. And that's where that right foot is. So it's like the left ankle and the right foot. Um, Anyway, but I want them to just make sure that there's nothing wrong with the right foot and that yeah, there's no stress fracture in the left ankle. And then I'll be good. And I need a zero. I haven't had one. This I figured. I'll take a zero and go get some x-rays. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. Later!